The hit musical Come From Away is the incredible true story about people helping people in the days immediately following 9-11. And right now, Rachel Tucker plays Captain Beverly Bass. Charlie's here with the story. Thanks, Samson. Rachel Tucker joined Come From Away just days before the pandemic shut down Broadway. I sat down with her at the Renaissance Hotel to talk about returning to the heartwarming hit. Rachel, you joined Come From Away right before the pandemic shut Broadway down. What was that like, that feeling like for you to know that like you wouldn't return after such such well, a long time? I mean, it, first of all, it was devastating. And I remember standing in Times Square, getting the call from my agent, and he said, go home, as in to London. And my mind was blown that something could shut theater. Like, you know, theater is the last thing to close, always, no matter what happens. In fact, out of all the, the, the businesses that are affected, theater is the one thing that is still yet to fully come back. feel like to reunite with your come from away family? <laughs> it, it was, it was a, a ridiculous. I mean, it was an amazing feeling. They were, they, everyone was so ready for it, more so than any other time in their career. You know, I, I've heard a lot of people say, and I've said it too, I will never take standing on stage for an audience in front of a live audience for granted ever, ever again. I will never be comp complacent about that. And we just, we were like giddy school kids, rehearsing Come From Away again, um, myself for the, the third time. Uh, and it was so exciting. It was just, it was, it was like a, a reward every day getting into work. You originated the role of Captain Beverly Bass in the West End, and now you're playing her here. Do you feel like you perform that role differently based on the location? I, I'm not, not quite. I think maybe I might have got away with the southern accent in the West End a bit more than I do here. So I've had a, a few more dialect coaches uh, sessions with our coach, Joel, who's fantastic. Um, but the Newfoundland accent is the one that I'm always a bit like, am I doing the Newfoundland accent or am I just doing in an Irish accent that I kind of know in my head? I'm always a bit, I always just need to make sure I'm on the Canadian side and just use my Irish accent, but with a bit of a Canadian accent. That's how I stay safe, that's how I play it. What do you hope people get out of this show um, that's just so inspiring after such a crisis just took place? And for people who, all of us, we've just lived through a crisis of our own, what kind of message do you hope they get from this well, show? Well, I mean, I think this show is is more prevalent now than it's than it's like ever been after 9-11, you know. Um, I mean, we need this story that, you know, whenever humanity, you know, goes through a tough, terrible time, like the tragedy of 9-11 and the days, the aftermath afterwards, um, we as a society find we we come together. We need each other more after this pandemic. And I think the show is the biggest coming together of when it, the, the hardest times in our lives. The show just sells the best of humanity at the worst possible time. I mean, I don't think there's a, a more apt uh, show on Broadway right now to, to say that. It's like it's being written for post-pandemic um, society. Mm -hmm.